We got the flu. Uh, it's got a bug that's been going around. I think it hit the baseball team, knocked a couple of those guys out, and, and definitely got on a couple of our guys, and Brad's one of them. So right now he's, you know, Pedialyte, you know, resting and, and all that stuff. How'd they look despite that? Uh, I thought Malik went in there and, and really looked good. I mean, he really did. And he made, you know, there, there's errors that go on in practice that everybody makes, but he bounced back. He took charge. Uh, he made some real big plays with his with his legs and and a couple real good throws. Just he's just a strong arm. He's, he's a gifted athlete. He, he cares about the game. So, you know, it showed today in practice. When when you have the, the top quarterback out, is that could that sometimes be a blessing in disguise in this situation? Of course, of course, because you because you get you get reps and doing things that that really uh, tailors to the next guy. You know, a lot of the stuff that we have in, you know, tailors to whoever's a starter or whoever's, you know, in that starting row or a group of guys in that starting row. But now that, you know, you know, Brad and Malik are two different guys. So, you know, Malik can do a lot of things that Brad can do, but he also brings another element to the game that Brad doesn't bring. And, you know, and you get to work on that a little bit at practice. Which is what, running, you're saying, or yeah, moving just and being at, mobile? Yeah, be mo being mobile and being just, uh, not just mobile, but being explosive while being mobile. So there's a big difference. What about Vincent? Like, how much did he, how many reps did he take today? He how took a bunch. He took, he took a bunch. I thought I thought he played well. Um, I, I still think he's, he's still learning the system. You know, there's a lot of things that go into our spring oh, no, setup. No, I know, I know. It's, there's, there's, there's football, but there's a lot of things outside of football that we try to, uh, that we're trying to get done here. So, um, and I think sometimes you guys, it hurts them a little bit just because there's a lot of extra work going on with other stuff. So, but um, I thought he threw some real nice passes there today also. A bunch of players have talked about sort of a faster tempo this spring and is that something where you just think the players are more comfortable so they can do it, or it's sort of a general philosophy you wanted to change? You know, getting the kids, getting the guys lined up quicker, snap quicker in certain in certain situations. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you got to be multiple. You know, and it's what happens when you say you're multiple. You know, there there's so many things that you do that sometimes you don't do a particular uh, a particular option as much as the other. You know what I mean? Jack of all trades sometimes comes into play, right? So what do you got to do? You got to find out the identity of your team and your players and say to yourself, okay, you know, this group of guys, how are we gonna, how are we gonna use their athleticism and the way they play football? And then you say, you know what? Being multiple allows you to be, hey, I can go faster once this happens, and I can slow down and get in the huddle once this happens because we really have the quarterback that can do both. How have they adjusted to the really, really fast offense? Good. I thought they did a the great job. Offense. Yeah, the lightning. I thought they did a great job. There you go. I thought they did a great job. Too. Yeah. What have you? What are you looking for, James, in the scrimmage? What would you like to see the most out of this one compared to last? Um, I would say I thought execution was uh, was was good in the last one. I want to see great execution. I don't want to see self-inflicting uh, uh, penalties or plays. You know, you drive 90 yards and ball bounces off the guy's helmet that doesn't turn around, it's an interception in the end zone, right? Or ball slightly thrown backwards on a receiver just because because you're protecting him from a safety and he kind of closes his, eye, closes his eyes and ball bounces off his shoulders and interception in the end zone. We don't want that, right? We don't want turnovers in the red zone. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. I'm looking at, hey, now, now finish the drive. You know, great job converting third downs along the way. Maybe it was a screen or a big play. They got you down there. Now finish the drive. So I'm looking for more finish. What are your impressions to, to this point in camp or in spring of, of, uh, of the offensive line? Uh, uh, they're, really, they're really a tighter unit than I've seen them. Uh, they're, they're really taking it. Uh, taking to heart the whole concept of we gotta be a brotherhood. And uh, I've been very impressed with the way they communicate with each other. And, and it's really, there's no like confrontation unless there, there's a need for constant confrontation. Sometimes those big guys, it's hard to really communicate. It's a lot easier just to throw a punch, <laughs> right? So Coach, kind of you'll, you'll wait to assess you know, technique and stuff like that maybe later? They're getting better. They're younger. Okay. They're getting better. The guys that are in there now, we just got Casey back. We don't have Taylor back yet. But I thought Trevor's played well. Uh, I thought Linder's played well. And uh, Jahir, I like where his game is going. Coach, you're a couple weeks in now. What were, what's one of the big things you're hoping to see this spring that you've seen so far? One of the things 
say that again? One of the big things you're hoping to see in spring work that you've seen so far. I've already seen it then. Is that what you're asking me? Well, well you know, coming in, in coming into spring, one of the big things big things you're hoping to see and that you have seen so far that you've seen oh, those got guys you. do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a convert on third down. I thought a third down this spring's been really good. And, you know, I thought a third down's been excellent. Uh, are we where we want to be? No, but we're we're better than we were last spring at it. And uh, and uh, our, our we we got a lot more a lot uh, got more chunk plays uh, where we're really flipping the field. You know, it's sometimes you know I think in the last couple of years we've really been shot oriented. You know, teams were turning and running, trying to cover the deep ball, and now we've taken advantage of the chunks. All right, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah.